Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank the Pacific Education Ministers for inviting me to speak at this very important event. It is a pleasure and an honor to be with you all. I only wish I was there in person. I wanna congratulate you on the outcome of your extensive efforts, which have led to the establishment of the PACREF and the PACREF program, which has now just come into effect. I would also like to thank our partners in the region, such as Australia, New Zealand, the Asian Development Bank, many regional organizations, and other development partners and civil society organizations. We are currently at a pivotal time in GPE's overall engagement with the Pacific Islands. Let me share with you three highlights of our work together. First, GPE is proud to have welcomed eight Pacific Island countries into the partnership last year. These include Kiribati, the Federated States of Micronesia, the Republic of the Marshall Islands, Samoa, the Solomon Islands, Tonga, Tuvalu, and Vanuatu. Papua New Guinea has been a member of the partnership since 2010. Second, in February of this year, GPE approved its first regional grant for the Pacific. This grant totaled $15 million and consolidated $2.5 million each to Kiribati, the Marshall Islands, Samoa, the Solomon Islands, Tonga, and Tuvalu, and is designed to support the regional education framework known as PACREF. An additional $5.5 million in grants were also approved for Micronesia and Vanuatu. So in total, GPE approved $20.5 million in new grants for the Federated States of Micronesia, Kiribati, the Marshall Islands, Samoa, the Solomon Islands, Tonga, Tuvalu, and Vanuatu, all to improve basic education in these Pacific Island states. As you all certainly know well, small island states face unique challenges due to their size and their remoteness. And these grants will help improve education quality equitably across the Pacific and in doing so benefit millions of children in the region. Third, I would also like to take this opportunity to highlight the strength of our partnership in the face of an unprecedented crisis, namely COVID-19. GPE rapidly mobilized funds to support COVID response planning in nine Pacific Island countries and provided 15.4 million in COVID-19 grants through partners to ensure that education systems would be prepared to help children continue to learn if and when schools were closed due to the pandemic. We saw the strong steps that the Pacific Islands took to build resilience and ensure the continuity of learning. For example, the grant to Tonga is supporting teacher training on new modes of distance education. In the Solomon Islands, the grant supports the development of a new home-based learning program for every level of the system. We hope to continue working together to address key challenges, including recovering from the negative impacts of the pandemic, overcoming capacity constraints, improving educational performance of boys, and mitigating the impact of climate change. At the same time that COVID has been both a health and an education crisis, it has also been an economic crisis. The economic consequences of the pandemic may be long lasting, which will impact budgets and indeed put education spending at risk. We cannot afford to jeopardize education investment for a whole generation of children. This is why we are encouraged by the steps for that Vanuatu and the Federated States of Micronesia have taken to protect education financing at pre-COVID levels. 
Congratulations. Further, that is why GPE aims to raise at least $5 billion U.S. dollars in our current finance campaign, which will culminate in a global education summit in London in July. If we are successful this campaign, GPE will be in a strong position to provide additional discretionary finance to partner countries to help finance ongoing efforts to transform how education is delivered. The overall campaign is being hosted by President Uhuru Kenyatta of Kenya and Prime Minister Boris Johnson of the United Kingdom and will help GPE, GPE provide finance for up to 90 eligible countries and territories, which together are home to over 1 billion children. At this most critical time for education, it is crucial to use resources ever more effectively and that ensure that they reach the most marginalized children. In the Pacific, we hope that the PACRIF mechanism will help participating countries use resources more efficiently, given the unique challenges for small island states. We believe that through regional cooperation, countries can share resources and capacity, learn from each other's experiences, and most importantly, further strengthen the region's resilience in the face of common challenges. The Pacific Islands are highly valued members of the GPE family and are a great example of the strengths of the partnership and how it works. We hope that you will lend power and your voice to support our financing campaign and raise your hand to highlight the need for education financing in the Pacific and indeed around the world. We thank you for the trust that you have placed in us, for your commitment to working in partnership, and for allowing us all to come alongside you and be part of the solution that transforms education in the region. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best health and good wishes. Thank you.